do this one thing, one thing, if you have high blood pressure. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 24 years. I'm gonna give you some realistic advice based on my experience. One of the most damaging things that you can do is obsess over your blood pressure. Many times patients come in, they have anxiety, they have depression, they have high stress jobs. Their shoulders are literally up to their ears. They've taken their blood pressure 12 times yesterday. They're obsessing over it. One of the hardest things to do and hardest lessons to do is to start to realize that all these things that are happening to you are not really working for you. So you have to learn how to calmly, slowly, and deeply breathe. I have an exercise video where I show people how to instantly lower your blood pressure and I'll put that link down below and it's done by breathing 30 times super deep and what you'll find is it causes a significant relaxation in your body such that your blood pressure will actually kind of uh, equilibrate to normal. But what do you do for the rest of the day? You have to learn how to not breathe shallowly and to breathe deeply and slowly and calmly. If you can do that, you will have significant effects on your happiness, on how relaxed you are, and most importantly, your blood pressure. So instead of always being hyper and, oh, I got this stress deadline and I got this and I have anxiety and I gotta take my pills and I gotta do this and, oh my God, my blood pressure went up and I gotta check my blood pressure. Knock it off, calm down, relax, chill, breathe in, breathe out. One of the most significant things you can do is to use your mind to control your body. We're very often thinking that our mind and our body are separate. They're not. You can control a lot of things about your health. Very often when I'm riding a bicycle and I'm trying to go up a hill and I start to, to hyperventilate a little bit because I'm stressed because my legs are burning and the lactic acid is burning and I'm trying to go faster, is I'll actually calm myself and try to breathe slower and more calmly. Sometimes when I'm at work, if I'm working real fast and I'm trying to get through the day and I've got paperwork and things like this, I'll catch myself kind of shallow breathing. And so by just taking that mental note and still doing the job, so you're still doing the job that caused you stress, you're still doing the things that cause you stress, you still have the same problems. You're just breathing different. Breathe slow, breathe calm, but breathe deeply and that is one of the things that you can do that will significantly help your blood pressure.